Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am filming quite a big haul because I bought and received too many books since like January, which was when my last haul was filmed. It's like a lot. I think I have around 65 books, unless I have forgotten to write some down. But you will see when I go through them. I'm gonna try to be fast and if you have watched my vlogs, which I posted a few of them, I like kind of haul them there as well. So you like, you've probably seen some of these already. But yeah, it's a lot. Let's get through them like lightning. First we have Box in Woods by Maureen Johnson. I bought this to complete the whole through the TV series for my vlog. Why I Murmur 3, very fun. <laughs> Whisper Me a Love Song by Eko Takashima. Continuing the story with these two girls. Sapphic given. Very, very cute. Haven't gotten to it yet. I literally have like 20 manga now. It's like a whole <laughs> chaotic vibe, but I will get to them all. Finally got Hall of Blue Flag Volume 3. I think the last time I read Blue Flag was in June last year because I couldn't get Hall of Volume 3. Now I finally have it and I can continue. Basically, there's three people and they're all in love with each other. It's loads of fun. Yolk by Mary H.K. Choi. This was actually a Christmas present from a cousin, but it never arrived, so I got it later. Very excited to read all the books by the author. YA Contemporary, don't know more. Then we have a stunning exclusive box set, which is a Madeline Miller exclusive box set from Illumicrate. I, of course, have to get it because Song of Achilles is one of my favorite books of all time. It is stunning. I really, really like it. I'm very excited now to put it in my shelf since I'm actually holding it. Let's take out the book and look at them. So, of course, we have Song of Achilles and Cersei. They have their own. You can see me in the middle, sorry. <laughs> Exclusive cover and edition. They're really, really pretty. They have really pretty and papers as well. Oh God, the book is like creaking, it's terrifying. And generally, both books are very pretty. I'm very happy about it. So like this spine's also like how quotes instead of like the titles. I'm showing you the wrong direction. It will be this way. So I really like them. All the like design on the box that is really pretty. And I'm very happy about them, okay? Can I get these in? I don't know where to put them because I don't have any space. I don't know where to put a single one of these books that, that is in this haul. But yay books! <laughs> then I decided to go out of my way to finally collect the rest of the Witcher books that I didn't own. And I wanted the old covers because those are the covers that I have from the other books that I owned. But these are out of print if you didn't know and it was really hard to get them. But the store I work in did have them in but I had to like go far for two of them and two, two others I had to send from other bookstores. So I'm not going to show everyone right now because I go in order of whatever seen in my house as I always do in my hauls. But the first one I traveled out of my way to get was Baptism of Fire and this is the third book but really the fifth one depending on how you count them I guess. I think. But yeah I'm gonna continue these now in March. I'm very excited to Finish this series and I'm excited that I actually got all of them because that was a struggle. <laughs> Flying Witch Volume 9 by Chihiro Isushuka and this one just follows a witch, slice of life, doing witchy stuff. Very cute. Pet by Ekwege and Messi, which I bought for Blackathon, over Reddit. Amazing. Truly amazing. Very, very happy <laughs> that I loved it. First Heart Escape from Aurora by Jamie Littler. This one I bought for Polyphon and I read it and it was so fun. Very happy. Sorry for not saying the plot for every book but literally we are gonna be here for ages. So I'm just going through them as per usual. A Winter's Promise by Christelle Davos. This one I also read for Polophon. And that's all I got to say about it. <laughs> then I finally got my order of Hairs to Us by Becca Abitali and Adam Silvera. And this one I had like pre-ordered and it was, you know, released in the end of December. And it arrived now in like mid-February. Took ages to get here. And it was also damaged. So that was a bit annoying. But yeah, this is the sequel to What If It's Us, I think. And you know, I thought that was enjoyable, so I want to read the sequel. So here it is. Bone Shower Emperor by Andrea Stewart. This one I ordered, pre-ordered, and it was released in November. And it never arrived, so I had to contact and be like, hey, this book never arrived, and then I finally got my copy. This is much thicker than I thought it would be. Truly much, much bigger. Well, at least it looks much bigger. But yeah, I read the first book for Facing Gaze. I didn't enjoy it while I didn't like love it, but I still want to complete the series 
and they're pretty, so there's that. <laughs> then we have Kindred by Alicia Dow, which I don't know anything about, but I read the first book by the author and I enjoyed that. And I want to read this one, but I haven't had time yet. I don't know the plot, it's sci-fi, that's it. First Sister by Lyndon A. Lewis, and this one is the Facing Games pick for March, which is a book called I Am Causing. We read queer sci-fi and fantasy every single month, and this is as a March pick. It's a sci-fi. It has lots of different queer rap, I don't remember, and I'm very excited to read it. It looks amazing. I had literally gotten so many books, I've forgotten which books I was gonna haul or not, even though I have a list, because this one I put in my shelf, and that is Mimi Game of Janelle McGuire, and I read this in January for 12 Friends Recommend 12 Books Challenge, and Sasha recommended this for me, and I didn't have a physical copy, even though I read it on my Kindle, and I bought one, and it's really pretty, and I really liked it, so yay. Saga Volume 6 continuing this series. I am really enjoying myself, but as I said, I have a lot of manga slash graphic novels in the line, so this one <laughs> I won't be getting to for a little while. Girlfriend on the other side, volume 10 by Nagabe. I have one final volume after this. I'm sad about it. Then we have A Cutter Warrior by Nelly Ford. I got the second book before I got the first one because, well, the orders didn't want to come in. Either way, I have read like the whole series now. Really enjoyed it. Read it for back of home slash the series I'm going to read for this month. Very happy about it. For the girl that finds out she has abilities. Much more than that. She is an albino. Yeah. There's stuff. There's lots of stuff. It's very fun. <laughs> Shave of Snow and Sky by Lisa Ludek. And I read this also for Paula Fun. And it was very wintry and cold. <laughs> the Ice Whispers by Helenka Stashera, which I also read for Paula Fun. And it was a ride. <laughs> Plus two sisters that are 40,000 years apart. Yay! Then we have a beautiful, stunning exclusive edition that I got from my Illuminate Monthly. And that is This Wolverine Kingdom by Tara Muffy, which was a monthly book. And it's just so beautiful how it was redesigned compared to, you know, the first uh, the first book, the original book, I mean. It's just so pretty. I did not expect it to be this beautiful. It has a really nice, actually, Stranger Dream vibe because of the moth. But just so stunning. So happy that this is like the edition I have. You can see my face, hello. <laughs> just beautiful, stunning. I was gonna show you it on papers, but it was a letter there. Amazing, very happy, very excited to read this as well, even though now I'm like kind of terrified of reading this. And then we have The Arbor Key by Akshaya Raman. And this one was also in the Loom Crate and didn't know we were getting two books, it didn't pay more, but we just got it. And it seems like a really fun YA fantasy and we got the spread edges and I'm excited for it. It is in the height that I like. So that's the most important part. And then we have Season of Storms by Andrea Sapkowski. And this one is, you know, the prequel to like the other books, but not like Set Before Sword of Destiny and Last Wish, but you should still read it last. And uh, this one I also got a bit out of my way to get. You can see they're not coming in order because that's not how the life wanted to cooperate with me. But... I got it. And when I was there, I bought more books, because why not? So I also got Black Lair for Red Wolf by Marlon James. And this one I have already read on audiobook. Not this year. Last year, I think. Not last year, the year before. I am actually not sure, but I did enjoy it, even though it was a bit confusing, but I did enjoy it. It's a special book. And I wanted a physical copy of it because I want physical copies of the books I like. So I just picked up one up now. The sequel just came out, or it's coming out really soon. One of those two. I think I need to refresh this before reading the sequel. It was a ride though, truly. Then I picked up The Bear and the Nightingale also for Polo Found, which I listened to audiobook for, and it was... Thoughts in my wrap-up. <laughs> That's all I got to say. I just like getting flashback to this day where I bought all these books, and they even like, of course, vlogged it, but I'm like, well, dang, I bought a lot of books this day. Daughters of Nier by Renny K. Amayo. So I bought this because I talked to my friend Justine while going around the city, and she had this on her black phone TBR. I got jealous. I checked if any bookstores now I had it. They did. I bought it. We buddy read it. It was a great time. I really enjoyed it. And um, no regrets, you know? Buying it and reading it. Yay. We have Lady of the Lake. By Andrew Sapkowski, and this one was one of the ones I had to call another bookstore to send it to my bookstore so I could get it with a cover. Very happy about it. Yay. I've been a bit stupid because instead of putting books where I usually put them when I haven't hauled them yet, I put them other places. I need to go and look for them. 
middle of the video that we have Verity by Colleen Hoover, which I never actually had plans to read, I think. Then Christy recommended it to me for 12 books, recommend 12 books challenge. And I had it like when in the store when I went around and buying all these other books that day. So I just picked it up right there and that. I know I have it. So I guess I'm gonna read it this year. <laughs> then we have Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. Heard things about it. I think it's the highest. Excited. Yay! Red Palace by June Her. I read all the books by the author who writes historical fiction mystery thriller novels. That was a sentence. I enjoyed the two other books by the author. Very excited to read this. And I'm reading this for Koreadathon, which I picked up for my TBR. Very excited. Yay! So now I have a bunch of Norwegian books no one cares about because in the store I work in we had like a bunch of books in storage and I just kind of could take them because they were like arcs but like old arcs that no one else wanted. So I just like picked things up that I wanted. So yeah, we have the Sortofora, aka The Black Sheep by Jorgen Jäger. I have other books by this author, but I haven't actually picked anyone up yet. He lives in my city, he's a really nice dude. And I want to like read them eventually. So since we had this, I could get it for free. And it's also like a hardcover, even though like it's stamped as a arc. I just got it <laughs> because no one else wanted it. So there's that. One of the authors that used to be my favorite and I met her several times. She says really well in Norway. And she got a new book that I haven't bought yet because it's Norwegian books are expensive. But then we had an arc. In the in the storage, Coco Libri. I've been wanting to read this because, you know, it's the, an author I really, really enjoy and I have like all her books, basically. And then um, we had an arc and I was like, hello! <laughs> and then I took it. So yeah, now I have this and I'm very happy. But yeah. <laughs> so this is just a book that people have been asking about and talking a lot about. It's originally Russian and it is Sulieka of I don't know the Russian title because I don't know Russian. I don't know if it's translated into English either. But it's basically this name and then opens her eyes basically and it's by Yusa Yakino and I thought the cover was really pretty and it seems to like be set in like this really cool place and stuff. Should have almost read it for Paul Fondle but yeah it's not a fantasy I think so there's that and people have like been raving about it so now I want to read it and it's so random because I don't usually read this time for fiction especially type of fiction that is popular in Norway but now I get curious and you know I got a free copy this is an arc so gotta jump on that you know the same thing with this one was also just a thing that people have been talking about in norway a lot this one is to water flowers in the night but i know this is translated into english and i think it's just called to water plants something by valere perrin this is originally in french and this is like norwegian arc so again i wanted to read this because i just saw so many people talk about it not the type of book i usually read but this is also you know a free arc so I jumped on it and I couldn't read this or this in its original languages anyway because I don't know Russian I don't know French so that it's translated into Norwegian is fine because I would have to read the translated version of the book anyway yeah I got more so this is also another arc but from the City's Traces series by Lars Oby Christiansen I can't say that name why not either way and I have one and two I don't have three because I got one and two for free when I went in another bookstore and this is like the companion novel, it's kind of book four, I think. But it's also an arc. And you know, free books that I was planning to read anyway. Not gonna complain about that. And then we had a really random edition of The Warrior just lying there in the height I like. Even though it's a bit dirty. But I'm gonna read the series anyway. <laughs> so I just took it. But I don't know why I was there, but I took it anyway. <laughs> so that was enough of the new region books no one cares about. Now for more books. I finally got Demon Slayer Volume 8. I don't know how, but I finally got it because I, I, I've been waiting months and months and months and months and I had it for order in my local bookstore and I got it in and I screamed because I had it like reserved for me and I finally have it and I don't know how and I also have even order number nine and it's on its way I just know I can't get ten but at least it's two more volumes than I have had for months. <laughs> I'm very excited to read this even though we all know that this arc is a bit sad. Then we are probably going to have volume 19 and 20. So I got finally volume 18, which we will see really soon. And I just went out and bought the last two volumes because I haven't been able to get 18 for a billion gazillion years. And I haven't even taken off the price tags on these. But yeah, just so happy that I finally had a whole series. I kind of just want to read it all three in one go, but I also want to savor it. So like, I am conflicted. What should I do? And then we have, I think the last wish to work, Tower of Swallow. Death Tower of Swallow. Death Tower of Death Swallow. 
god. And this one I also had to call a bookstore and I had to send it. And it was funny because the other one I just showed you came the next day after I called. And this came like almost two weeks after. So I don't know why that happened, it was just funny. Someone was long joking, it's all fine. But I had a whole series in the covers. Thank God for bookstore people being so nice. And when I was there, I bought more books because why not? And I got The Fire Keeper's Daughter by Angeline Bowley. And this one I heard amazing things about. Just like amazing, amazing things. And I was waiting for it to come, you know, and the height I like. And now we had it like in the store when I was there to get a book. So I just like got it. And I'm very excited to read it. So I'm happy I have a copy. Oh yeah, I just remember when I was there because I was only gonna pick up The Witcher book, I think. A bunch of other books I ordered into the store came when I was there. So I just bought more books that I ordered in for several reasons. So first we have Never and Forever by Christina Corval, which is the last book in the series. And I'm reading this for series I picked out to finish this year. So now I'll have the whole series because there's only two more. And I already had the third one. Excited. We have this brick of a book, War Without End by Ken Follett. It's the second book in the Kingsbridge series. I read the first one. Gonna read two and three. I have three already in a weird Norwegian arc, but I don't bother buying another edition of it. But I didn't have two. So I bought it and it's enormous. Um, the paper's so thin and the text is small. Oh, but I'm gonna power through. <laughs> it's gonna take some space on my shelf. I'm gonna hide it away somewhere. And then I got the Crimson Crown and Axe like Queen, which is the book four and book two in the series. I have book one, I had it for years. So it's planned to pick up this series, like a series I will binge and vlog in the one of the upcoming months, which is why I like ordering these. But I don't have book three, as you can see, because I couldn't order that in. So I need to get a hold of that, and then we will see when I get to the series. Yay! But I'm planning definitely to read it this year, or else it would have been no point to order them in. Yay. And then I finally got my copies of A Cut Witch and A Cut Woman, which is the first and the third book in the Nisibi script series. Is that what it's called? Don't remember. But this whole series, it's so fun. I love it so much. I want to reread it already. It's just a lot of characters. They just go to school and learn magic shit and have to fight stuff. And it's just the best time. I read all of them and I'm just so happy. So, really recommend. Then I got Escaping Exodus by Nikki Drayden, which was for sci-fi and fantasy tea for Blackathon. Over the Reddit. Weird. We'll talk more about it in my wrap-up, but it was really fun. Then we have Tell Me How It Ends by Valeria Lucelli, which I also bought for 12 Friends for Recommendment 12 Books Challenge. So, it's really, really tiny. I don't know what it's about, actually. I just bought it because it's found it interesting. The Fever King by Victoria Lee, which... I have already read, but I wanted a physical copy. It's like a wild dystopian, interesting book. <laughs> that was a sentence. And uh, yay. We start volume 13 and 14, continuing the series. So I have a couple of volumes now. I have so many mangas, if you can't tell. <laughs> then we have Jujutsu Kaisen, volume 14. I have a lot of this now, but I'm happy because at least I have them, you know? They never wanted to be ordered before, so yay. The Vegetarian by Hong Kong. So this one I ran out to get for Koreathon and this is on my TBR. I also got Please Look After Mom by Kyung Sook Chin, also for Koreathon. And Kim Ji Young, born 1982 by Chuna Myo, also for Koreathon. Very excited for all these books. They're all so tiny and I'm just very excited for them, okay? Everblaze by Shannon Messenger, which is the third book in the Keeper of Lost Cities series. And of course getting them for Keep Along, which is the reader long and co hosting with Sasha and Pris to read through a whole series of books. And the Twitter and stuff is linked down below if you're interested to check it out and join us. Beast Made of Night by Tochi Onibuchi. And this one is the other series by this author I read, War Girls and Rebel Sisters. Really enjoyed them. So this is like the series that the author published before. And I'm excited because those were really good and I'm excited to see what he says about and what's happening because I have no idea, but I want to read it. And then we have Promised Neverland Volume 18 that finally arrived and I have them all now, still in shock, just so you know. Then my pre-order for Ophelia After All came in by Rachel Marie. Very, very happy, very excited to get it. Everyone has been raving about it. It's stunning. So we'll get to this eventually. But just happy I have a copy. And then we have Never Seen, also in, you know, Lost of the Cities. Lost of the Cities? Keeper of Lost Cities. <laughs> this is a fourth book 
and you know, buying them of course for the read along, yay! Permanent record, record by Mary H.K. Choi. You know, I said, had the other one and I had a version contact from before, so now I have all three books by the author. Very excited to read all of them. So I lied in the beginning, there's more books than 65 because I have written off the wrong number on my list, of course. So we have The Heart Principle by Helen Wong. This one is the third and final book in the Chris Continent series, but I just literally got it because it was so cheap from Book Depository and I was just like, I might as well just get it because I know I'm going to read it eventually anyway. But yeah, I enjoyed the first book a lot, second book. A little less, but still a lot, and I'm excited to see how I feel about the third one. Then we have Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson, and this one is Tiffany's. Is it her debut? I'm not sure. Actually, I think it is, but I am collecting her novels, really want to read them all. Very, I was going to say scary, but eye-opening YA thrillers, so just buying them up and enjoying my life. So that was 65 books but I've forgotten to write up three because those arrived yesterday so there is three more books. It's actually 68. Oh my god that's a lot of books. Finally but not least we have Shades of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This is the Uniper set that I got or Erica bought for me because I'm spoiled and it's stunning. I've seen it so for so many years and it, it looks so cool and you know you can buy only the dust jackets and take them on your edition so you don't need like actually another three copies of the series. Well I don't mind more copies of the series. I have a lot. I don't know if this is my seventh set or how many sets I have but it's so pretty and you know normally I wouldn't go this far but since I'm literally collecting V Shop so hard I feel like at this point this wouldn't surprise anyone. And yeah, I'm just very, very happy about it. Individually, they still look really cool. Ooh, they like have like a really like dark, dark vibe. But like, you know, it is the spines looking like this in the shelves that I'm now holding really badly. That makes it like this that's worth it. But I'm very excited and very happy I have it. I didn't actually think I would ever own them. But here we are and I'm not complaining. So there's that. But yay, that was all the books. My favorite one in this haul was probably this Woven Kingdom because it's so pretty. What was your favorite? Tell me down below. And I'm excited. Now I can finally put all these books away. Help me. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave a butterfly emoji down below if you enjoyed it. You see me soon in a new video. Thank you so much for watching. And now I need to do the thumbnail somehow. Bye!